we, we've talked about this a lot, just the out-of-school time field boldly claiming social-emotional learning. Um, for a long time, we've been held to academic-only standards. Um, and, you know, I'll claim United Way was maybe guilty of, of uh, kind of being a part of that. And so uh, we, we want to... Um, I really like the analogy of riding the wave and how can we take advantage of claiming that spot on the wave to say we're good at this, uh, we have expertise in this, um, and let's really think thoughtfully about how we can um, c claim this and, and um, lift up the out-of-school time field. So um, I, I thought that was a helpful analogy for me to really um, keep me motivated um, on finding, finding my spot on that wave. Um, and part of that is also, I, I'm glad you mentioned um, fear and that there's, there has been, I think, a sense of fear um, with some very um, serious consequences that we need to pay attention to. Um, the high stakes piece um, is huge, um, not including families, not thinking about um, the cultural and contextual factors. Um, but so, but I think what I hear you saying is that we need to work through that fear together. Um, so I'm looking forward to partnering with those of you in the room and those of you who are not here today on, and online um, to moving past that fear and taking ownership of a social emotional learning and not a school time field.